I take my kayak up to the dam in the summertime to swim up there, and there's one that lives and hangs out in a uh, old dead ash tree up there. What kind? Bald eagle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I can, I, I go to the dam too, but no way today. It's no. going to be too fast. That is such a nice place to swim. Yeah. You want to go right under there. It's deep, clear. First this morning, I just 10 minutes ago, I drove up. You know, there's a small parking lot by the dam. Yeah. And I looked at the river. No way. No way. <laughs> no way. Because sometimes it's it's better to when the water is lower to launch there because it's more fun there. Oh sure. Here it's kind of boring for half a mile. Yeah. And then it it's more interesting. It does. <laughs> but today I'm just gonna make it probably maybe a little bit past the bridge and that's it. <laughs> Nice morning for it. Yeah. What's well, that? I'm trying to because a week or two from now it's going to be too damn cold. Yeah. Well yeah. Yeah. Right. It's already cold. The water is like 40. Is it that low already? 40 degrees, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Summer's over, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. wondering, is that a dead mute swan over there or a plastic bag? Most likely it's uh, foam, yeah. just from water swirling around. Yeah. Could be trash. Yeah, at first I thought it was a dead swan. But no. Then, uh, a lot of hunters, I'd hate, I'd hate to think that one would take a shot at one. But yeah, it could be. It could be. I'm going to check it out. <laughs> he had one. He had one chase him the other day. Oh, the swan chased him? Yeah, bigger than he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they can be pretty aggressive, defensive. Last winter, down here in the field, there was a golden eagle. You see him occasionally. They're yeah. Almost twice as big as a bald eagle. Yeah. And he surprised it on the ground, and it couldn't fly quickly enough. Yes. So it turned and, and chased him. You know, wings out, talons up. Yeah. That cured him of eagles, too. <laughs> but, uh, last winter, I think there was the only time I think I saw an eagle here. It was down the river, and it was iced up, uh -huh. and was sitting on the ice. Yeah. And I took a very short video, and then he, he was very careful, and he flew away. <laughs> saw one this morning. I live on the river over in uh, Main Street in East Adam. Saw yeah. It's nice to see that they winter here. Oh, you got your GoPro all set up? That's cool. Yes, yes. I take my kayak up to the dam in the summertime to swim up there, and there's one that lives and hangs out in a uh, old dead ash tree up there. What kind? Bald eagle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I can, I, I go to the dam too, but no way today. It's no. going to be too fast. That is such a nice place to swim. Yeah. You want to go right under there. It's deep, clear. I'm very glad that I went back to the car and got that bubble wrap to sit on because it was cold it was like sitting on a ski lift with thin pants ah.
nothing like a good cucumber. The excitement today to go way up. The current is very strong. I fight it and I'm not gonna get get to the interesting part anyway just after the bridge it's gonna be so strong that I can't paddle food is plentiful and it's just staying float I can show you through the binoculars the bridge. Mm -hmm. I can slow down a little bit and then back up. I don't have the the excitement today to go way up. The current is very strong. I fight it and I'm not gonna get get to the interesting part anyway. Just after the bridge it's gonna be so strong that I can't paddle. Food is plentiful. Oh. I can show you through the binoculars the bridge.